this year, as, as always, we've got three basic goals for you guys, for your small groups. Um, like we said, like we said just this last week, we really, we really believe that three essential things to live a full life in Christ are our upward journey, our inward journey, and our outward journey. And so small groups is what we call our outward journey. And uh, and just kind of do that journey together with others. So, but to make these to make this outward journey more impactful, guys. Guys, are fighting. Are you fighting? Are you, are you listening a little bit? Okay. Um, we are fighting. I mean, listening. Uh, to make to make our this outward journey that you guys are leading these kids on. Um, more impactful, we're, we're really just focusing on these three specific goals, and you see them listed here, community, intimacy, and being like Jesus. And these are three things that we say we want to have in our small groups, but also that you can't have intimacy without community, and you can't have being like Jesus without intimacy. And they, they kind of build on each other, they kind of grow and snowball into each other. And so obviously the first thing that you really need to focus on is community. And we, we'll talk about this throughout the year even. Like we talk about how it, you can identify community as a place where people feel comfortable to do dumb things around each other. Which We have community here. Yeah. Yeah. It's real true. Um, at least Matt does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's his community. <laughs> so community is... Like, I know your name, I know your schedule, like, I know what you do, I'm familiar with you, and I know, knowing some basic things about you, and in community, in community, I kind of have these able to ask these question kind of examples. Um, now, you could ask these questions in a place where there's no community, but you just wouldn't get, like, responses. Right. Um, but questions like, how was, you know, oh, how was your test? So obviously you have, you're familiar with their schedule. How was your test? Or how was your game this week? How was uh, your vacation last week to the Adirondacks? Did you kill a snake and eat it? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes I did. Um, oh, did anyone heard of Adirondacks? Yeah. 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 Nope. I remember my dad, my dad used to bring me home all the time to New York City Bluff Kids. So. Well, that was... Intimate. Clearly, we have community. Yes, we do. Um, oh, let's get a you're also in community. <laughs> Good girl, go lay down somewhere. Uh, no. And uh, okay. uh, yeah. Just lay down. Excuse me, guys. For all you watching at home, just lay down a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, uh, other questions. <laughs> I'm, I'm being watched. I'm famous. <laughs> other questions include um, oh. like yes. community, <laughs> community. <laughs> I would say community has the, the right to ask, you know, how hey, how are your quiet times with Jesus this week? You know, you know each other well enough that you're comfortable to ask those questions, and without getting response, without getting weird looks, <laughs> um, you know. So those are those are some things, and we want to build community, and we do that. You do that by having fun together. You do that by um, asking questions of each other, and and making sure that people like. So if someone was like, how was your week this week? And be like, oh, I had a, you know, it was a really crappy week. My dog died. I'd be like, oh, I hate dogs. <laughs> that would not help with community. So you wanted to make sure to yeah, sit, you're creating in your small groups. So yeah, one of the big things that we will keep coming back to as far as building community is and taking a stand and stuff is just like not letting people make fun of each other. Now that's a big one for me because I'm like, Sometimes I use sarcasm, and um, you know, a lot of people make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> no. Um, it's okay, I'm sarcastic. <laughs> but like, even so using sarcasm, um, or talking <laughs> trash or whatever, <laughs> especially for junior high, we just like let's not have any of it. Let's just be really. We want to be encouraging, safe place where people feel like they could share without being trampled on. So that's the kind of thing. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you want to say about one. Um, so that's community intimacy. Uh, you know, hurting when other people are hurting. Empathy, feeling what you feel. Able, able to ask questions. Um, 
the same questions, but like with follow up, like, hey, how, well, how did that make you feel? Like, uh, I was on it, or I don't know. But like we talked about follow up questions. NNC really allows you to to ask those follow up questions. You don't get there without asking follow up questions. So you're not just looking for that information. Oh, how was your vacation last week? Oh, it was good. Be like, oh, okay. You would, oh, well, what would you do on vacation? Oh, we went to, um, we went whitewater rafting. Oh, okay. On the Nile. Another, another question. <laughs> oh, is that your first time whitewater, whitewater rafting? Or what was your, and especially to get them to express their own feelings, it's a big thing, especially in junior high, to be able to articulate themselves just because they need practice in doing that. Um, like, oh, well, how, you know, what was, what was your favorite part about that? Why was it so great? Um, and asking those kind of follow-up questions will bring you to a better place of intimacy, um, or so, or even if it's like, oh, I had a really bad week. I had a big blow up at my mom when she told me that I had to clean my room. And be like, whoa, well, why? Why do you think that you reacted that way? Why do you think you blew up then? Uh, let them think about their own feelings and share them with you. It's a great way to build intimacy. So that's the other one, and then uh, being like Jesus. It was a little bit, um, I don't know, it was kind of like right there in the goal. Um, but being connected to the vine, as in Jesus from John 15, and, and bearing the fruit of who Jesus is and, and that connection. It's great. And when, you, when you're at that point where your group is being like Jesus, it gives you the ability to hold each other accountable to some of the other things that you set. All that being said, those being the three goals of small groups that cross over in general, in junior high small groups, you're probably not going to be hitting on all three cylinders. Yeah, so in junior high, we want, we want to think long term, say let's build that community now so that, and, and even bring this group to a, a level of intimacy so that they want to stay connected to each other and to the ministry, and then as they move on into senior high, they already have that as a strong base when they go into high school of a community of other believers. And they can use that to build on and, and continue their growth in Christ. So that's those are the three goals. We'll come back to those over the year. And if you're, I mean, they're like I said, they build on each other. If you're like, man, I can't get my kids to answer a question about... Um, the lesson, or I can't, my kids have no spiritual Jesus. interest right now. You, are you, yeah. <laughs> I can't get my students, I can't get my students to answer any question, you know, any, they seem like they have no spiritual interest. Well, do you have that base of community in your group? Because you're talking about spiritual things, it's on another level, and if you don't feel comfortable with sharing with your people, your peers around you, then no, they probably won't talk about so build that community first. Let them know that you care about them, um, inside and out, toe to head. Just you care about them, and that's why you have that community. You're not there because you want them to know everything there is to know about the Bible. So that's uh, we'll keep coming back to those. And if, like I said, if you're having, you know, we I'm saying these three goals for our entire small groups. Same way you guys are gonna set group covenant goals or whatever with your kids. Teenagers. Teenagers. Um, so, so that you is. can, I know, I meant, I, that's why I asked for your help. Um, so that you guys can point back to those and be like, hey guys, we said in our covenant that we want to make fun of each other. I'll, I'll do the same with you guys and say, hey guys, um, how are you doing building community? I hope you know everybody's names, but maybe have you been to a sports game? Or whatever? I don't know. You don't have to go to every sports game to be a super small group leader. But, um, because you can't drive it. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> I'll walk. You so, know, those are small right groups. Like super that's, super. <laughs> those are small groups in a nutshell. Actually, that's a pretty big nutshell. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm big of a nutshell. Is there no texting during the lesson, please? Ooh. Um, Ooh. Wait, what's <laughs> <lesson. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Is there? <laughs> uh, oh, not service. Good. Yeah. Oh, is it service? Mm -hmm. right. That's that. reached. Time for program. Yeah, that's right. uh, yeah. um, <laughs> any questions regarding leading small groups?
Hey, what are small groups? <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. I feel like we might have been over that. Oh, some small groups. Oh, well. Okay. So are we good? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. And all of this, feel free. Um, we're